another fun calculus problem. Um, this is a classic one. I've seen this many times. Uh, so here we go. Uh, the problem shown up here it says a rotating light is located 14 feet from a wall. The light completes one revolution every two seconds. Find the rate at which the light projected onto the wall is moving along the wall. Blah, blah, blah. I just got lost. What, what am I reading here? So the key here, draw a picture, draw a picture and go step by step. So first step, a rotating light is located 14 feet from a wall. Stop. Draw a wall, nice solid bar here, title it wall. And here's my light. Now you can draw like a, a ro an arrow showing rotation here if you want. So, okay, and I'm gonna call that distance D from the wall, okay? And D 14 feet. Um, so that's basically the first sentence. Next sentence, the light completes one rotation every two seconds. So there's a light basically doing this rotation and it's every uh, two seconds. So T time for one rotation equals two seconds. We've defined T and D so far. Next sentence, find the rate at which the light projected onto the wall is moving along the wall. Okay, stop right there. So, so I've defined this distance uh, Y, which is the distance along the wall um, right here from basically this perpendicular. So I have a right angle here and y is going to be the distance here that's going to be changing the rate that rate is going to be changing so i have y and it's going to be a differential rate that i'm looking for um, when the light's angle is 15 degrees so i've defined theta here as 15 degrees right so that's y when that's 15 degrees and from the perpendicular of the wall so i have all my things uh, defined here i have my picture to help me visualize but again, what are we looking for? Putting that into words. So let's go back to this sentence. Find the rate at which the light projected on the wall is moving along the wall. So it's really a change of y with respect to time. Okay, so it's gonna be dy by dt. So that's one thing, that's, what we're, that's our goal. That's what we're looking for. So um, the other thing we talked about here is um, this uh, angular uh, rotation, right? And so the light completes one rotation. Now, if we think one rotation in terms of theta, we're thinking like two pi. We're not gonna use degrees, 360 degrees, but in radians, that's two pi for one rotation. And so d theta by dt, two pi over t, well, we go back down here, we've already defined that as two seconds. So two pi divided by two, that just comes out to be pi. We're gonna use that later. That's our rate of angular rotation. Now, Given this triangle here, um, if I'm looking for dy by dt, we got to come up with, with a way to get that. So if I look at this, well, I have theta here and d and y. Um, I'm just going to write tan of theta. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So relative to the light, the opposite is y. The adjacent is d. Tan of that angle theta is y over d. I'm just starting to write some equations that I think are going to um, hopefully come together. Now, what I'm going to do with this is take the derivative of both sides. So the derivative of tan theta and the derivative of this y over t. Um, this is what I believe is referred to as implicit differentiation. So what is the derivative of tangent? You may recall, you may have some tables. The derivative of tangent is secant squared theta. Okay, so the derivative of tan theta is secant squared theta. Um, but we're also differentiating this theta with regard to t. So I'm going to write it as secant squared theta times d theta. Now on the right here, uh, when I take the derivative of this, look at d, right? d is the distance from the wall. That's a constant. That's not going to change. So by the chain rule here, the, the, the one over D is constant that comes out the front. What am I left with? Just dy by dt. So going from this step to this step, I get this solution. Now all I wanna do is what am I looking for? Always remember what you're looking for, dy by dt. And so I'm just gonna solve this equation, which basically multiply both sides by D, cancel the D on the right, and I put the D on the left. That's your equation right there. And let's see. Um, dy by dt, that's what I'm solving for. Do I know d? Yes, it's 14 feet. Do I know theta? Yes, it's 15 degrees. And do I know d theta by dt? Yes, it's pi. So I can now solve for dy by dt. And if your calculator doesn't happen to have the secant function, here's a little hint that secant squared theta is also one over cosine squared theta. I hope this is helpful to you. And um, I'm not going to pump uh, plug in the actual values, but all that is here. And, and then I'll leave it to you to come up with the actual units of this as well. So real quick, think of why. Why is in units of what? 
um, probably feet and T is in time. So there you go. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to message me. Thank you.